Well, hey guys, I'm outside again and I'm very glad to be here. It's been a rough couple of days, so um, yeah, it's nice to have a few hours to come outside and um, yeah, have a bit of alone time. So I've just hiked in about half a kilometer from the car. I've driven about an hour from home, so I'm not as remote as I normally am. I've made my way down to the river already. Um, there's some nice open pools, some pretty decent rock formations and sort of beginnings of a gorge, but it wasn't really the sort of place I was after. The plan for this trip is basically just to uh, find a nice spot by the river, relax, brew up some coffee and uh, throw a line in, you know, see if I can get a fish or not. Doesn't matter if I don't, I'm just glad to be outside. It's a really nice temperature. It's on the warm side. Well, I was just, um, Make your way down to the river and check this guy out. A meter and a half long for sure. Just out sunning himself or herself on the rocks. So uh, the red belly there poses a bit of a problem because <laughs> it's pretty close to the track. So I want to pretty much go in between. Where are you? In between the snake, which is here, and this bush. And I don't really want to be a metre away from a snake when it's sunning itself and is hot. And its head is posed the way I'm going to be walking. Oh, I have to go, I have to go around here somewhere, I think. I think first, though, uh, after seeing that snake, I need some coffee. Oh, I've got the heart rate going, that's for sure. It always, when you, whenever you see your first one, it um, just <laughs> gets the heart rate going nice and quick. So, um, I think, yeah, going to fire up the jet boil. Um, get the coffee on the go and then uh, yeah see if I can't get myself a fish well, that was extremely good English so I do have a new um, coffee making device which I'm pretty keen to give a go so some of you may have seen I have one of these kind of expandable Cedar Summit uh, cups. They're made of some sort of silicon, but yeah, they seem to work pretty well. Well, I was at the, at the shops the other day and I found a, a coffee version of it. Alrighty, so I've got my cup, uh, cup all sorted out. Now, one thing I have noticed is that the fit between the filter and this Cedar Summit cup is not great and I guess you can kind of squeeze it in there a little bit, which is what I've done. But you'd kind of assume a little bit more compatibility between, between cups, although that's not too bad, so, you know, I won't pass judgment just yet. Now, I did try this out once at home, and I found that it probably needs a bit more coffee than I normally use, just to get a nice strong brew. So I've got heaps of coffee there. I'm just going to pat it down because I don't want to to go through the filter too quickly because I want a, a strong, I like my coffee really strong. Here's the finished product. See all the moisture's gone through. Now, yeah. that's a pretty bloody big coffee. I didn't probably need that much. That's not too bad. I did use a lot of coffee though. So I used three, three heap spoons, which are probably not much more than I use in an AeroPress. Approved. Oh, this is exactly what I needed. Nice strong coffee, good sunshine, beautiful river. And I have seen a fish and I'm... It looks like a trout, which would be freaking awesome. Now, I wasn't going to take any fish with me, but if I get a trout, all bets are off. I'm kind of torn. I'm torn between finishing my coffee and going fishing. It's a tough decision. You know that excitement you get when you were, or when you, you had your little kid before Christmas, waiting to unwrap your presents? Yeah, it's kind of what I'm feeling now. Oh, 
so I'm using a um, it's called a, a wiggle bomb. Uh, it's basically a frog tadpole hybrid, quite large, um, has a weighted jig head in there, so you can cast it quite well, and then it fills up with water and it sinks. So yeah, it's um, I've had good luck on it with bass before, but I think I'm going to switch out soon to a a, a a Tassie Devil lure to try and chase some trout. We'll give this one a couple more shots, and then we'll we'll change out lures and try something else. And so I'm just waiting for about 30 seconds so it can sink, and then I'll slowly reel it in. Tassie Devil lures is they've got a good weight to them so you can actually get a decent cast out um, and they seem to have a nice action in the water too so yeah I've always been a fan plus the Australian mates so that's a win oh, it's getting pretty hot I haven't had any luck yet um, yeah not even a bite I have seen one fish chase the lure but yeah I'm gonna call it quit soon catching lots of weed though be good if I was a vegan alrighty lucky last cast for the day well, unfortunately, no luck, guys. Um, I had about 10 lucky last casts and uh, not one of them did the trick. Alrighty, all packed up. Um, just about to head off, so making sure I haven't left anything behind. Even though there's no fish, um, I feel so much more relaxed and yeah, just, this is exactly what I needed, so, you know, sometimes you've got to make do with the time you've got available, and yeah, this has just been awesome to get out here and check out a new place, never been here before. All right, through the uh, through the scummy bit. I was fishing just down there, oh, over there. It won't actually take me too long to walk walk back to the car. Um, maybe 15, 20 minutes. It's quite a nice walk, actually. Quite a nice walk indeed. Oh, it's warm. It's really warm. Yeah, I think the forecast was for about 29 degrees today. And uh, certainly feeling it on the walk out, that's for sure. Oh, there's a little breeze, which which is quite nice, but this is the warmest it's been for, a, yeah, probably six months. Oh, this is very pleasant walking. I love it when there's no undergrowth. Oh. There's my car just poking through the trees. Thought I still had a bit further to go, so <laughs> that's a nice bonus. All right, well, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, it's been, um, it's been really good just to get out and de-stress and enjoy a bit of nature. So um, don't worry, there'll be more, more camping trips coming up soon. Uh, it's just a bit on at the moment, so I just need to find a spare weekend to get out again. If you enjoyed this video or videos like this, um, I'd really appreciate if you can consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it helps motivate me to come out here and do this sort of thing. Um, yeah, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and any questions or uh, comments, yeah, please feel free to leave those below. So, oh, oh it's been a... Uh, been a much better day today. That's the way home. Done that way. Alrighty guys, well um yeah, look thanks again. Um I won't wrap it on any further, so 
yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Cheers.